Alright everyone, let's put my safety glasses on. So this is day two of the uh, Spark app test. Actually I tested it this, this morning at really early time, like 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. And everybody was sleeping and I did not know it was going to be this loud. It was really, it's like a gun going off. So anyway, uh, yesterday's video, Spark Gap, um, basically I didn't add any capacitors to the system. I kind of knew that, but I just, I didn't think because it was like 10 o'clock at night. So anyway, uh, yeah, 10 o'clock at night and I got up at 3 to go to work. That's the way every day is. It's tiring. So uh, let's show you what I got. <laughs> this was so intense, my mouse quit working. My favorite wireless mouse I've had for like 10 years or whatever. It, it just stopped. It's very sad. Check it out. Here's my mouse. I can take it apart. I love this thing. It had buttons all over the place. Side, front, top, volume. All sorts of good stuff. There's my capacitors. I got these out of another piece of equipment. I do not know what the rating is. All I know it says dielectric strength 25,000 volt max. And I have no idea if I'm maxing this out. Alright, so there's my spark gap. i get about there. Let's say that's about a, somewhere around... Probably a little less than an inch. Uh, yeah, about three quarters of an inch. Three, two, one, fire. <laughs> it's sparking over here. Wow. That's building up a voltage if I'm jumping that. Check that out. That is, uh, it's about an inch and a half. It's making it across. That is, I guess that could be my safety gap. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Get a little better focus. Three, two, one, fire. Yeah, I gotta move it in just a fraction. All right, three, two, one, fire. Oh man, that's intense. That hurts my ears. I'll do it again. God. <laughs> Amazing what a few capacitors will do, won't it? There's a really tiny gap. Alright, I'm going to open this back up again. Because that is just crazy. Here we go. Uh... <laughs> I actually needs ear I you don't need earplugs for this experiment. Okay, so there you go. You wanna hook this up to the Jacobs ladder without much power just for fun? Yeah, let's do it anyway. It's probably gonna just blow up and go through my ceiling, but whatever. This'll be good. It's good to watch. Stay on there. Darn alligator clips won't stay. Alright, put my safety glasses back on. I had a hard day at work today. I worked my butt off. I'm building a table 15 foot long out of steel with one inch steel plate on top. It's pretty cool. It's a workbench. Okay, Jacob's ladder. This is going to be nuts. Yeah, it doesn't even go up. Too much going on down there. That is crazy. I wish you guys could see that a little better. Okay. Maybe we can try it up here where it won't jump the gap. <laughs> Gotta burn my test leads up. Oh well. Let's try this again. Ah, stay. My test leads aren't the best. Sorry, guys. I'll quit boring you here in a minute. Here we go. Still won't do it. Oh, it's burning the plexiglass down there. Alright, I'm done. Quick little update. This will be update like, or actually this will be test 1.2 because it's really part of test 1. Anyway, this is Russ. Um, again, um, I got a few things around here. I got to scrounge them up. Some pipe fittings and a few other things that I will uh, be putting together to make my, scarp, my spark gap uh, concentrated. Um, that's it. This is Russ. See you.